Hello there, greasy motherfuckers. Oh, boy, I do fucking make some tenderloins. And man, aren't they good. I ate one. Look, look, careful with it. That is some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, the trick is, my uncle taught me how to cook them. But the trick is, is you gotta have that heat down on low. The way, the way I was taught to cook them, and the only way I'll eat them, is uh, you know, put some flour in a freezer bag and take some garlic salt and some garlic and put that in there and shake it around. I like to shake and bake with chicken, you know. And put your tenderloins in there and shake it and get that flour all over them. And get an iron skillet, turn the heat. You gotta have that heat low. And throw some butter in there and put your tenderloins on and cook them. And they kind of like put some breading on it. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I, uh, my neighbor got uh, got them for me. I went after I had the cops here and shit last night. I went <laughs> I went over there and they said, what in the hell is going on? I told them the story, same as I told you on earlier, or last night. And, uh, but yeah, he gave me tenderloins, um, uh, summer sausage, sausage, I think that's all. Good shit. Uh, uh, man, back in the day, whenever I was, was a little bit wilder, I'd have fucking, you know, in my old house. I, we shot, I mean, I we, I miss that old house because they pull up and shoot any time we wanted to. And on a sunny day, it looked like it was be some fucking sun, sun shining too and shit. But, uh, one winter, cold, man was it cold, we, we had about, I don't know, maybe a foot of snow on, which is really rare, and down home, but this, this particular winter we did, everything was fucking closed, and my partner in crime, Robert Bush, who's dead now, God bless his soul, <laughs> not really, I mean, he murdered a girl, it was accident, but uh, they both drunk, and he he was he, he would fight with his elbows, and I mean he was quick. He was, and he he really fucked you up with them. And I seen him fuck a lot of people up with them elbows. And uh, but man, he used to kill more deer. We I had the game more than my house so many fucking times. It was ridiculous. I mean, if there was a week went by he didn't show up, I call him and ask him where the <laughs> where in the hell you at. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, he was a hell of a shot. He killed a bunch of deer, but this time I'm talking about, he killed, if I had a building until it burnt down, <laughs> uh, that's another story. But I had a building, we had them hanging up in there. I mean, fucking deer everywhere hanging up in there. It looked like a slaughterhouse. But, uh, uh, Bush was killing too many of them, and well, they got, they were fucking freezing. My, my other buddy, Ansel, I always had people over, unlike now, but Ansel, I mean, this guy talks, he likes to shoot that fucking cocaine, and his, I mean, and he's loud, and his mouth doesn't hurt, but he, he, his nickname's Blade. He's got a knife, you know, with the blade on it about that far, and he showed up there, and we, we didn't have... We, we lost our knife. I can't remember, but we didn't have a knife for some reason. And that fucking asshole went there started to eat. Well, I got a knife, you know. And he pulls out that little fucking thing. Everybody's like, he ain't gonna be able to. I said, yes, he will. Watch him. And man, he just started. And, he, and eventually he did. He, <laughs> he did. Uh, later on, man, those deer froze. And we, at the, then we finally did get nice, but we couldn't cut them. I mean, these fucking things were froze, man. 
Oh, fucking little John Clagger. There's nothing little about him. He went. Uh, uh, he's a logger. And he, and he showed up to buy a little bit of weed. And he had a chainsaw. So, Robert Bush come up with the idea. Well, let's just cut him up with the chainsaw. Uh, drunk. I said, well, that, that, that for the first time in your life, Bush, you are thinking. That's so we did. And, well, well, we... Well, as fast as, I, uh, as they were being made, man, it was getting eaten. It, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Miss those days. Yes, I do. Now everything's just... All I do is answer the phone here. In the, here this is my place of business. But all I do, I talk on the phone from 9 o'clock in the morning till noon or 1 o'clock and then I start drinking. And then I get drunk. Because I got nothing else to do, man. I, I mean, I talk on the phone business-wise. But, but, uh, just, uh, anyway, I want to play this song here because I like it. Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. He's all you never saw, never in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Straight in the curve, black in the head. One day in the mountain, my kill with the law that was good. Making the way, the only way they know how. Understand and keep a short time in our face. 